Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dr. DeShavo. I am here to review your online content, to give you a little overview. Hopefully it'll help you to understand the course and navigate it as easily as possible and get an A and A in uh, pathophysiology. I almost said A and P because I just make the A and P video. Pathophysiology. So, first and foremost, Please reach out to your facilitator first if you're having any issues. I oversee and help all the adjuncts for pathophysiology, so I'm kind of your backup. If you're having an issue though, please go to your facilitator first. We have wonderful facilitators who've worked for me <clears throat> over several years. So they really know their stuff and um, you know they're the ones to go to, all right? So, what I'm going to do is do an overall view of the online content. Please save this video. I guarantee you it answers probably 80 to 90 percent of the questions that you have about the class. Okay? All right. So, SUNY Poly Blackboard is our learning platform. I put it right at the top because, of course, I'm there quite a bit. <clears throat> when you go to find it, you go to log in, you'll use the same ID and password that you use for your emails. When you log in, it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this. You go to courses and all, you know, of course I have more courses here. All your courses that you're enrolled in will show up. We are going to talk about Nursing 570 Pathophysiology. Now, once you click on it, it'll bring you to the course itself, and there are several areas to review here. Um, and we're not going to review every single thing. We're going to take, this is probably going to be about 20 minutes, I would guess, <clears throat> but we'll review the important things that will help you to succeed in this class. Announcements will happen weekly, if not more, depending on the week. The announcements are also sent out as an email. These are your tool for success. It will tell you what is due when and walk you through week by week what is due. Start here, and we're going to look in each one of these tabs. Okay, start here with some general information about me, health information, etc. We will review the syllabus. <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me, my allergies have been awful. And then content is where the content of the material for the course is. So announcements are your guidepost as to what is due and when. Content has the content for the class. So starting here in syllabus, you really won't use that much. It'll be 99% announcements and content. So let's dive right in. Your weekly announcements, I'm going to run through a little bit. How to use Respondus. Respondus is your online proctoring system you will use to take the exams at home. That is for the three major exams that you'll have, not your weekly quizzes. Okay, so just think about that for a second. Respondus, I will give you a one, just one quiz, not the weekly content quiz. I actually give you a quiz on Respondus itself. So you can get used to using Respondus rather than using it on an exam for the first time. So Respondus is an app that you'll put. You could see it here. Your app, I think, might look different. This is old, okay? Um, I can't, this is a school computer. I can't download material onto it, so I don't have the new app. So Respondus um, is an app you'll put on your computer and you will use that to take your exam. It'll videotape you. Your professors are the only ones who will watch the videotape. It doesn't live videotape you. And, you know, students get a little frustrated because we're very strict with our rules. However, those strict rules are put into place in order to prevent you from being accused of cheating. Okay? So basically, and there's a list of rules, like don't wear a baseball cap, you can't wear earbuds, um, if you have a head covering, reach out to your professor and let them know. We'll just ask you to show us your ears. If you have any religious um, reason not to, let us know as soon as possible. And we'll walk through a solution for that. Okay? 
Um, um, don't put your vac to a light source because then that illuminates the back, things like that. You have to have the area completely clear. No water bottles, no coffee cups, and people have complained about that. But guys, first of all, it's like an hour, three times a semester. And also people write answers. That's why we don't have you have anything in the area. And the clearer your area, the safer you are. Okay, we're really trying to do this to prevent you from getting in trouble. So basically what I have students do is at the beginning, you'll open, when you go to take your exams, you'll open the Respondus app. It'll bring you right to Blackboard. Once again, this is, you know, an old app, but it will then bring you, sorry, hold on. Respondus will then route you right into Blackboard, okay? You'll go into the exam. I'll show you how to get to the exam in a little bit. You'll start the process of taking the exam and respond to so walk you right through it. It'll ask you to show an ID, you know, look at the camera. It'll ask you to scan the area. This is 99% of what you need to make sure you get right. And it's so easy. Very slowly, in a minute or two, scan the area and proof test you have nothing around. Okay? And it could be easy as this. You bring your computer, you can actually use a webcam in the computer if you want, or a separate webcam. Look down, you know, look up. Go slow though, people do this fast and I want to throw up. You know, here, here, scan the room. Some people put the computer down and just spin it. You want to show underneath the table, okay? And then I have students step back and show the area. See, it's easy as that. So that way, and I know I have papers and water there. You would want that to be all clear. That way, if you sit back down, and I know this is completely clear, and you go like this. I know there's nothing over there, okay? Um, we can also hear you, just so you know. You can talk. I truly don't care if you talk, but just remember we can hear you. You can figure out the rest, because <laughs> I know some people get stressed out. Okay, so respond us. And I have a short video on how to use that. You can review. I also have all the rules written down for you. Google and Blackboard play really well together, so you know. Um, the exams will be enabled for iPads too, just so you know. This welcome video will be posted right here. Of course, if you have questions, email. I'm on email all the time, okay? We don't meet in person. All exams use Respondus. Um, announcements will come at different times. Usually now I do it by the end of the week. I'll go through and fix that. Um, I return emails Monday through Friday about 9 a.m. to noon. Your professor will let you know when they return emails, okay? You have case studies. Please, okay, everybody, listen. I know this is turning into a lot of material. You will have one case study. That's it, okay? So we have 20 students in the class. We're going to do four weeks of case studies with five students per case study, okay? During that week, we'll show you exactly when you're going to do it. That's when you do your case study, okay? People are... Joining in other case studies, you do one case study. Okay, that's it. Okay, so one week, one case study. Don't join the other ones. Okay, there'll be some general information about your professor here. This is the master course that I put together that we all share. Textbook is optional. I personally like reading the textbook. Um, it's an old edition. You can find it at a very reasonable price. I know there were some copies in the bookstore. However, you know, it's up to you if you feel you need it or not. Okay. Here's a case study. It's once you get one case study, okay? You'll be assigned one week. So it's kind of fun. Students have been enjoying this. So during this week, you'll create a case study worth nine points. You'll respond to two case studies. You get five points for each response. you I'm not going to read through these directions. Please read through them, and if they don't make sense to you, let us know, okay? You'll create a case study. Don't use actual patient names. Okay, you can use the patient. Here's an example of a case study. And here's how you respond. You're going to choose two, okay?
comment on them. Co please don't comment, you know, don't say, wow, Susie, that was a great case study. I loved it. Good job. No, you want to comment on the content. Well, Susie, I see that your patient had potential broken femur. Some things you might want to look out for is necrosis in the femoral head because of the vascularity that may have been destroyed. Things like that. Try to sound really smart. Okay? Because you are smart. Post your diagnosis and supporting comments as to what you think it is. Okay? So basically your students are trying to create a case study for you to figure out and diagnose this patient. You're going to take a stab at it diagnosing them. I shouldn't use that. That's not a nice phrase. You're going to take a guess at it. You're going to post your diagnoses for two case studies. So you create one, respond to two, and then the Wednesday after. I really want you to go in and post your diagnosis. Okay, and that'll be your final point. So if no one guesses the right diagnosis for you, don't, 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 extra credit. Okay, this is one of the few times we offer extra credit. So let us know. Um, sometimes the threads get a little confusing, and I want to make sure we don't miss anything. If nobody guesses yours, we'll go back, let us know. We'll go back, double check it, and give you extra credit. Okay, so good luck with that. And here's your weekly announcements on what to do. Okay, and I'll show you one of the weekly folders as to the content and how to navigate that. But every week, you'll get this. Okay, you're not going to be able to reopen quizzes. We're shutting them down. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay. All right. Um, online exam to do's and tips before your exam. Read through that. That will be open. And before you know it, yay, we'll be at the end of the semester. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So those are announcements. You will get them as emails as well. I don't use the calendar. I have everything written down for you. Start here has some tips, okay, general class information. I'll post the welcome video here, a little bit about me, your book, health requirements, and student handbook. Um, syllabus, let's zip through that kind of quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a shared syllabus between all the courses. And, <clears throat> excuse me for uh, Department of Nursing, we do not have any synchronous courses. All my videos are, all my lectures are videotaped, okay? So you just reference those. We can, however, meet online if you need to or you're having issues. Just email your professor. We're happy to set up a time. There's my phone number. Please, I'm never in my office. I hold all my office hours in labs, so I have open lab hours, really, <clears throat> and then I work a lot from home. However, I'm on email all the time, so if you have an issue, shoot me an email. I will absolutely get back to you in 24 hours. Um, course description objectives. You can read through that on your own. You'll have three major exams. Um, those dates I have for you, we'll look at that in just a second. The case study, which I spoke about, one case study. One week, one case study. And then quizzes, um, 130 points for the quizzes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So those quizzes are going to, we're going to limit those. Um, people were taking advantage. I used to leave them open. We're not doing that anymore. So you will have a quiz at the end of the week. It'll be open probably Friday morning to Monday morning at noon. During that time, you'll be able to get on the quiz. Once you access it, it will shut down, okay? So make sure you're prepared before you take that quiz. Grading scale, you probably are aware of that already. Outcomes, learning activities, I think the rest of it. Code of contact, please don't cheat. This is why we're so strict with the Respondus videos. I, it's an online course. We're not going to cancel um, any classes, unfortunately for you. I'm sorry. Um, accommodations. If you have an accommodation, please let me know as soon as possible so we can work together to get you in a very successful state of mind and state of existence in this course. Um, weekly work. Okay, and this may vary a little bit. Very little. Pretty set. Okay, please uh, copy this, post in an email, send it back, signed to your professor. 
we'll keep that so you understand the information and this is kind of our contract with each other and the whole nursing staff does that all right now into the nitty-gritty so I believe I explained this but the majority of the information will be under announcements and content this is sort of like backup right so let's go to content okay cut please don't put anything online for this course I do check intermittently um, if you've posted any quizzes or exam questions I will reach out to you not very happy okay please just don't do that if you want to do one of those online study things I'm fine with that just make it private okay weekly schedule if you click on this I know some people already reached out um, so this is tentative to change hopefully we won't have too many big changes because this is all online um, you can see week one the dates week two the dates Labor Day don't forget um, you have off although once again being online we don't really have any time off um, week five exam one we're going to open it Wednesday September 29th from noon to Thursday September 30th at noon <clears throat> that um, I, I used to do midnight to midnight um, I'm old I'm tired <laughs> I go to bed at 9 and for some reason all the problems would happen between 9 p.m. and midnight so we're gonna make it during the day so we're much more accessible we'll be right back on it the next day if there's any problem we can reopen it um, we have very few problems with respondents it really works very well however things happen the one suggestion that I can give to you is using a hard wire from your computer into your modem. It just makes it um, a stronger connection and may prevent any dropping of the signal. Okay, so exam one, weekly content is right there, up to and including neoplasm or neoplasia. Okay, exam two, on November 3rd, November 4th, content. Um, November 8th, last day to officially withdraw. Uh, Thanksgiving break we have and then the final date and content back to content okay back to content just to remind you where we are all tests and rubrics so when it's time for your first exam go through respond us on your desktop app go into blackboard sign in come into the course go under content your exams will be under all tests and rubrics here's the case study grading rubric once again I'm trying to uh, set you up for success <clears throat> excuse me so this is literally exactly what we'll look at when we're grading your case studies if it'll open there it is okay so case study includes a thorough history description for an information minimal effort moderate effort excellent effort boom response one um, and don't forget to give your diagnosis right for your last point response one is the same as response two so make sure that you just follow that check 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 you get your 20 points easy peasy you're good to go so take a little time before your case study and do that and don't forget I gave you an example case study as well okay so back to the exams time for exam one open respond to SAP I know I keep saying that but that's been the biggest problem open respond to SAP open blackboard go to courses go to your course go to content all the tests and rubrics exam one you're not going to be able to see until it's time for it it'll be right here you click on it respondents will ask you several questions including show an id um take it it takes a picture of you um, and then it videotapes you now don't forget I'm the only one or your professor for your sections the only one that looks at these videos you are not live taped scan your era thoroughly you'll be good to go it's as easy as that okay and we use it for all three exams so back to content 
respondus rules and directions. Um, you know, it's all kind of common sense stuff. Um, so read through this and please follow it. It just makes everything go along easy and prevents any accusations or cheating that can happen. So, you know, here's some ideas. Um, and people have gotten creative with showing the area. I've had students even use, um, you know, their phone to scan the area. But you do need to see under the computer, behind the computer, left and right. So you can do what I did earlier. You can use a separate webcam. Um, you can use a full-length mirror. I've had students put that right behind them so you can see everything that's in front of them. I think the easiest is what I just did, and show the whole area, and then step back a little bit and show the area there. Okay, This will be this video. I'm going to upload it there so you can access it, because I know for me, I don't remember stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So to have the access to this again is helpful. Um... Supplemental material, the two main things in here, I have some old, I had some students who wanted um, the audio lectures, I have some just audio lectures, uh, Blackboard doesn't get along real well with this, so when you open it, all of them start talking, but people have downloaded them, so not all of them are there, some of them are there, okay, so we are them all playing. Some students wanted that, so I downloaded some of the harder lectures with that. Um, here's the YouTube links. I do all my videos through YouTube. So suppose when you leave, you would like to take the videos with you to review. I've had three or four people ask for this. Download this, and you can just come in, copy this, put it into your browser, and go to the lectures. So... Um, there, if you want to take them with you. Computer's a little slow today. That's supplemental material. Then we get into the nitty gritty. And you can see week one, chapter one, cell changes in genetics. These are the dates. Okay, so September 5th is a Sunday. Um, really, you know, your quizzes I'm going to make do Monday. Um, I used to make them do midnight on Sunday, and I would wake up to three or four issues. Because once again, you know, Blackboard's pretty good. There's been a few issues. So um, really it goes, it'll spill over into that Monday. But that's a guideline, okay? You should have most of the work done <clears throat> and memorized by the end of the week. Here's an overall description of what you should be doing, learning objectives, um, and the steps you should take. Print the notes. Your notes will either be PPT or PPTX. Those are PowerPoints. You can print them with a slide per page. You can also choose to print three per page, which gives you lines next to the slides, whatever works for you. Once you print those, here's all the videotaped lectures. I put them on YouTube so you can watch them there or if you hit the YouTube, it'll bring you to YouTube. Unfortunately, somehow I do not get paid for these, but YouTube has started putting um, ads on my videos. I guess maybe just to maintain them, they have to be on there. However, what I found is a YouTube has been a very easy platform to work with that I can edit, and B, you can always access them later. So. Anyway, um, you can watch them right here in Blackboard if you want, or you could go to YouTube. Um, this? Is this also YouTube? This may not be YouTube. This may be the old video TV. Okay, if there's any problems, if there's any problems with the video, let me know. Okay. All right. So, um, and then there's a short video on genetics. Oh, that second one is YouTube as well, hmm. right? You do need to know genetics. I made a little video there. And then every week, this will open, quiz will open on Friday until Monday at noon. Please complete it, okay? It'll be open. It's not going to be open for 30 minutes anymore. It'll be open for about 10, okay? People have been taking advantage of that. And not good. Okay, review questions are optional. Okay, 
Um, here's review. Some students wanted, and this helps me to review questions as they go through the lectures to look for the answers. It just it helps me to pay attention. It helps them as well. So if you would like, you can print those, and then the answers are in the attached file, I believe. Okay. A and P review. So these are my anatomy and physiology lectures. You'll see every week that I have these, I'll have, if they're optional, required, some students had asked for them, so I put them in, okay? And you can review them if they're optional. There are some I really recommend, so you might want to check those out, okay? So... Then, guess what? It's week two, same format. Okay, you'll have the dates, you have the general introduction, your PowerPoints, the videos, your quiz will open Friday, close on Monday, your review, optional questions. This is recommended A&P review. Guess what? Week three, same. Week four, same. Okay, week three, uh, there's two folders for week three. We have fever and healing. Okay, so that's a little different, but you can see the dates are the same week four, week five, you know, and if you want to work ahead, you can't do the quizzes ahead, but you can do the lectures ahead if you have a busy week coming up. I know you guys I give you guys a lot of credit. You know, you're juggling families and jobs and it's got to be a little crazy. The last and final thing, we're almost done, I swear, is discussions. Um, so for some reason, I'm going to fix this. Um, there was a video here on how to use um, the discussion board. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. You can create a forum and then respond. So here's a case study directions. So once again, you'll be assigned to one week. We'll organize this so you'll see your names. We're going to start them week two, give you a week to catch up. You'll see your name here, okay? You'll post your case study here, post your diagnosis here, okay? So you'll go in, you can create a thread, post your case study, ba 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 ba, ba you know, blah, 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 submit. Then you can reply, blah, 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 I think you have blah, 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 right? Okay, then you would submit your reply, what you think it is, okay? Then we would come back to the discussion board, yep, I do want to leave, and the week after, you will post your diagnosis, okay? Diagnosis only. Okay. Um, I want you to use, if you're responding or creating a case study, an original cited reference. Don't copy from other people. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll respond more about that in the future. All right. That brings us to the end of this introductory video. I hope it was helpful. Please remember, we're always here for you. We truly, truly want you to succeed. And we look forward to working with you very, very soon. Have a great day.